Are you ready for cuteness overload? I have some adorable pet projects to share with you today featuring my supermodel, Honey. <laughs> I can't wait to tell you all about them, but real quick, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes some stuff for my dogs too, and I am so glad that you found me. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so that I can give you a formal welcome. And for everyone watching, be sure to like this video so YouTube will know it's awesome and suggest it to other people. Also, if you like sewing videos, be sure to subscribe to get all my pattern reviews, makes, first impressions, and more. Okay, let's get into these projects. Each one of them was made with the new fabric line Off the Leash from Kathleen Hill for Studio E Fabrics, which includes some beautiful painted dog portraits. Let's kick things off by taking a look at this treat bag. It is such a handy little project if you're training your dogs like I am, or if your doggies need a little positive reinforcement when you're out and about, whether you're at the dog park, a festival, or even just on your afternoon walk. It's a simple lined bag with box corners and belt carriers in the back to either attach it to your own belt, your backpack or purse straps, or you can make a strap on your own and tie it around your waist before you head out the door. I made the outer bag from the tossed dog toys print and then lined it with the packed dog treats print. The belt is fussy cut from the border stripe print. Fussy cut just means you cut out a specific part of the fabric to highlight it. On this belt, I cut out the part of the fabric that looks like a collar because it kind of also looks like a belt with the buckle and everything else. And would you believe that I made this pattern myself? Yep, it's the very first Inside the Hem sewing pattern. To help distribute it, I partnered with SIY Sew It Yourself. If you're not familiar, it's a new program from the Henry Glass, Free Spirit Fabrics, Blank Quilting, and Studio E Fabrics that aims to inspire, motivate, and educate to grow your sewing confidence. SIYSewItYourself.com provides tons of free, fun, and easy to make patterns that anyone can download. It also hosts community through events and classes via your local SIY retailer. You can find participating stores at the link in the description box. If you'd like to make a treat bag for your pup, head to the SIY Sew It Yourself blog to access the tutorial and pattern. While you're there, you can check out some of the other tutorials like this one for a pillowcase using the ever popular burrito method. If you've never done that before, give it a try, it's magic. I think handmade pillowcases would be so nice for a family reunion, bridal party, or your kid's next sleepover. All right, back to the dog projects. The next two projects are actually simplicity patterns. The cart cover was a real stroke of genius, if you ask me. It's Simplicity 9299, and it's actually meant for children and is intended to have holes for their legs to go through, mimicking the design of the actual cart. But when left whole, it provides the perfect little bed for honey while we are out shopping. The cover itself is just a giant oval shape that's cut for, from your main fabric. For my main fabric, I ended up quilting a whole bunch of the fabrics together, starting with the panel and then adding in prints along the sides and tops of the panel until it was big enough to cut out the pattern. Next, I lined it, added some batting for comfort, and finally, you sew an elastic casing around the entire outer edge so that it stays on the cart nice and snug. I added some extra large buttonholes a few inches from one of the long edges of the oval so that I could thread a buckle through to keep her safely in the cart. The pattern also includes a little pocket to hold your water bottle, keys, phone, and the like, which I also added because I knew it would come in handy whenever, I, whether I have a kid in the cart or a dog, it doesn't matter, everyone needs pockets. I obviously need to take Honey out a few more times to make her feel super comfortable, but I know this is better than having her sit on the cold, slippery plastic seat. Finally, Honey is modeling one of her newest dresses. This is Simplicity 1239 with a few frilly modifications. I started with View B in the tossed hearts print, leaving off the stripes and football detailing. At the marking line for the lower stripe, I added a simple skirt by taking a rectangle of the tossed dog toys print and running a gathering stitch across one long end and then top stitching that onto the dress. 
For the little band, I fussy cut the bones from the 10 inch by 10 inch dog blocks print, folded over the long edges to the inside, and top stitch it, centering the band over the gathering to hide those raw edges. I love how taking those few creative freedoms led by the adorable features of the fabrics created a super cute one-of-a-kind dress for my girl. These dog projects take all of an hour or so from start to finish and provide so much joy and happiness. I consider myself a selfish sewer, but making things for my dogs is an exception. <laughs> I hope you will give one of these dog projects a go and see just how much fun they can be for yourself. And if dog projects are not your jam, I get it. Don't forget that SIY Sew It Yourself has a ton of beginner-friendly projects at the ready. I will be making this pool chair pouch for sure. And how gorgeous is this backpack? To help motivate you to make an SIY project, we are collaborating to host a giveaway. You can sign up for the SIY email list on SewItYourself.com by April 15th for a chance to win a mystery fabric bundle. Who doesn't love free fabric, right? I've got a ton of links in the description box, including all the patterns, where you can get the off-the-leash fabrics, SIY Sew It Yourself retailers, the SIY blog and website, and the three specific projects that I mentioned in this video. But Honey and I have got to run so that we can finish the rest of our errands today, and that is going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!